I want you to gently uncap your urine samples. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do, and we do it together, and people at home, I want you doing this as well, and then when you go to the bathroom, is to smell your urine. That's Dr. Oz, the former daytime television doctor who has shifted his focus from trying to get people to smell their own piss to trying to get them to vote for him. That's right, he's running for Senate in Pennsylvania, going up against Democrat John Fetterman. But who is he? Dr. Oz was raised by Turkish immigrants in Wilmington, Delaware, which is coincidentally the hometown of Parks and Rec cameo star Joe Biden. But prior to Oz fixing to run for a U.S. Senate seat, he was working on fixing people. After obtaining three degrees from two Ivy League schools, Oz took up a residency at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York, where he worked in general surgery and cardiothoracic surgery. In 1993, he became an attending surgeon, and in 2001, he became a professor of surgery at Columbia University. His show's old website states that Oz has authored over 400 original publications, book chapters, and medical books, and has received numerous patents for his work in medicine. In addition to his incredibly successful career in medicine, Oz has also drawn criticism for long promoting and amplifying bunk medical treatments and theories. In 2014, he was called to Washington, where he defended the validity of his claims, including a magic coffee bean that aids weight loss. I actually do personally believe in the, in the items that I talk about in the show. I, I passionately study them. I recognize that oftentimes they don't have the scientific muster to present uh, as fact, but nevertheless, I would give my audience the advice I give my family all the time, is that in an intent to engage viewers, I use flowery language. I use language that was very passionate, but it ended up not being helpful, but incendiary. In a 2014 study published in BMJ, investigators dissected 40 random episodes of The Dr. Oz Show. They found that 46% of the claims Oz was making were in fact backed by evidence, but more than half of the claims were either unsupported or actually went against the science. But this didn't stop Oz from winning nine daytime Emmys for his show where he frequently educated the American public on very complex medical issues. If your P had a personality, what would yours be? Welcome, Patricia. Hi, how are you? You have to go pee a lot. You might have done the pee dance, you know, the pee pee dance. What's your pee type? One of my all-time favorite things. Your poop and your pee. In 2021, Oz announced he was running for Senate, bringing his highbrow TV series to an end in January of the following year. He was now just a former television star and pseudoscience monger turned politician. So who endorsed him? A man of the same ilk, Eric Trump's dad. I endorsed another person today, Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. Oz is running for Senate in Pennsylvania despite living in New Jersey for the last two decades, a fact his opponent brought up by way of Snooki. Hey, Maymet, this is Nicole Snooki. want to say best of luck to you. I know you're away from home and you're in a new place, but Jersey will not forget you. I just want to let you know I will not forget you. Um, and don't worry, because you'll be back home in Jersey soon. This is only temporary. Temporary or not, what's Oz running on? What does he care about? I'm pro-life. Life starts at conception. That's how I feel. So he's anti-abortion. What else? Back off, Biden. Give us freedom to frack. Okay, he wants to drill. What else? But our Second Amendment is not just about hunting. It's about our constitutional right to protect ourselves from intruders or an overly intrusive government. Yeah, this is all par for the course. I'm just like you, even though I own several multi-million dollar homes, one of which has a basketball court and wine cellar in it and stuff. So why him? Why does he need to throw his stethoscope into a U.S. Senate race? Well, he says COVID-19 was the catalyst for his run, writing on his site, Witnessing our nation's failings of COVID, I learned that when you mix politics and medicine, you get politics instead of solutions. That's why I am running for United States Senate, to help fix the problems and to help us all heal. It's an interesting reason to run, considering Oz contributed to the nation's pandemic shortcomings by promoting hydroxychloroquine, a drug shown to be an ineffective treatment for the coronavirus-19 infection. He also amplified the sentiment that schools should reopen, even if that meant a few kids would die. Schools are a very appetizing opportunity. Uh, I just saw a nice piece arguing that the opening of schools may only cost us 2 to 3 percent in terms of total mortality, and uh, it might be a trade-off some folks would consider. Oz later backpedaled and said he misspoke, but this is why he claims he's running, to offer solutions like these on a grand scale. But so far, the people of Pennsylvania want a second opinion. Oz is trailing in fundraising and the polls, and it seems hardly anyone is ready or willing to follow the doctor's orders just yet.